Cool vlog intro so far. I'm back, Victor Hellthorpe, Olympic speed skater, with another vlog episode for you guys. And as usual, with me, my fantastic wife and super fast speed skater, Sophia Thorpe. You're not gonna do that flame thing, right? Why would I do a flame thing? That makes no sense. <laughs> Made me wear that matching jumpsuit. <laughs> jumpsuits are pretty sweet. With the 2025 pre Olympic skating season in the advent, these two talented contenders decided to leave nothing to luck and take on the challenge of an altitude training camp to reach the full extent of their capabilities. Join us for a crazy adventure and find answers to the many questions one might ask. Is 3,000 meters too high? Can Sophia survive two weeks in Victor's constant company? Did this video peak with that super duper dope spin kick? Probably. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. Altitude training camp has begun. We are our cottage up here. We found a tiny cottage on Airbnb. It is way cheaper than you can imagine. Less than half the price of the in-season um, prices, simply because I don't think anyone goes up to the skiing resorts when there's no snow yet. Um, so Sophie and I got this cottage. We're gonna be here for two weeks, more or less, 13 days. The cottage is at 2,500 meters of altitude, which is, I don't know, a lot of feet. And um, it's super cozy. It is not luxury, but uh, it's nice. It's right by a main road that takes us down to Salt Lake City. We can get to the Olympic skating oval in 40 minutes. So honestly, we couldn't ask for uh, better conditions. It's super nice. Wake up, chill in the morning here. And yeah, it's just cool being out in the nature, disconnect a little and have nothing in your life, but training and your wife <laughs> for a little bit so i love that <laughs> over the next five days we're just going to take you through what we do here on the final block of training before we actually hit the world cup circuit we are at high altitude because it helps you generate or create more red blood cells which helps transport that oxygen into your muscles so you can go for longer or go faster which we'll take it he so. wants to go for longer and i want to go i want to go faster <laughs> That is the best way to put it. Yeah, altitude training is a thing we've both done before. Um, this is the highest we've ever been though. And we're gonna keep you updated on our recovery stats because one thing that we are really aware of, this one goes out to anyone out there trying to do altitude training. Keep track of your, your recovery numbers. We use the Ultra Human Ring and, and we really just look at our data every single morning, send that to our coach so we adapt the training um, based on that. I am sure we're gonna acclimate and uh, we'll take you with us for that journey. Let's go. I give me whipped cream. Okay, okay. Oh wow, so who, who made you that delicious French toast right there and the Arafid uh, or Arafid's coffee? We can remember. It was in the kitchen when I woke up. Oh, Might have been somebody. <sighs> I never appreciate anything. Celsius at the top of the mountain, so uh, my personal driver here, Mrs. Thor, is uh, dropping me off at the bottom of the canyon. She's on her way to a skating workout, so uh, that fit perfectly. And uh, then I just keep a, a nice steady ride zone two. Uh, even though the skating season is here, we still do a lot of aerobic fitness. It's still a long season. We aim to be at our peak mid-March. So we got a lot of time and uh, we need to stay fit and get a lot of quality in for all these anaerobic workouts and in order to do that we just need a lot of aerobic fitness. So this week for me is going to be I think around 10 hours of biking still even though we focus on the ice session. So uh, better get started today. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet being able to do that at slightly lower altitude meaning I can maintain or even go higher in terms of wattage how well I perform. So the workouts seem easier because we do them at 1500 meters of altitude while living a thousand meters higher so that way it's really just the sleeping that's tough. How was your sleep so? I don't know. Alright I guess. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Alright it's not like it's super warm here either. Right? <laughs> Seen this bike so? Mm -hmm. What's so clean. About it? She cleaned it yesterday. So too. Mine too. Mm -hmm. Oh that didn't sound great. But uh <laughs> it's, it's rolling. Look at that view though. One of the not so nice things here in Salt Lake or in Utah in general is that the air quality is not always 
fantastic. But, uh, I think it's pretty nice today. It helps a little if there's more wind or not just the desert. This final thing I want to show, snack pack. Ketone shows flying around. This is what I would use for so like a two and a half hour ride like today. A ketone shot before, after, during. Gel like that, with a little bit of caffeine. I'm taking the big caffeine H and Y gel and uh, and a bar. That's about it. Nice life hack latex too. I don't use those whenever I like, change the tires at home or anything. But I bring these on the ride because they're lighter and super tiny. And uh, that's about it. Good piece of advice: if you ever train at altitude. Go off with your heart rate for aerobic rides, not your wattage, because that will be so far off. And uh, yeah, just to save yourself. These are not the focus for us, it's just getting the hours in. So I'll try and stay to my heart rate no matter what the water says. And, uh, and hopefully by the end of this ride, even though it sounds crazy, I'll be heat training a little, because down there in two hours is gonna be like 15, 20 degrees, and I'm wearing three layers. Uh, we wear this little core sensor thing here that measures the core temperature throughout the workout. That's super cool. And uh, Sophia is already fully acclimated to heat training. I'm almost there, but that's the thing that will help us on the ice, even though it's odd and ironic because it's cold there. But, um, you know, every single second really counts at this point. So, we're gonna chase those. Let's go. See you, so. We done. Back home. Back to novel daybreak. I missed it. LC2 came as fun, but this place is nicer than our little cottage in terms of, I don't know, life quality. Shower is nicer. The water is literally warmer. Nice bike ride. I, uh, I do start to feel like lower heart rate despite 100 milligrams of caffeine from the HNY Plus. And uh, yeah, just two cups of coffee in the morning. It's windy out. I uh, still had decent wattage, like uh, 218, I think, for 126 heart rate. We're back at the back in the mountains. I'm sorry for the lack of, you know, live documenting footage from the skating rink. It's just when we are there, it's pretty intense. So uh, it's just easier for me to update for these vlogs. Uh, it's it's a fine balance between trying to share everything we do, and then also not having that interfere with the main goal, which is to become better at skating, obviously. So that's why they have to be a little uh, before and post training. But um, we skated on the ice for uh, quite a while. I did a seven minutes super chill skate, then five kilometers at 10K pace, then three kilometers at 5K pace, and then 1500 meter or two kilometers at 3K pace. Um, which is a great way to get way more uh, stuff in on the ice. It's the thing we, we do very often. We call them images or yeah, just doing a certain intensity or a certain race intensity, but then doing lower amounts so you can stack up more of them. And then in the end, that's how you learn to skate, but still get the, the fitness benefits. So that was nice. Then finished it off with one minute on, one minute off of uh, kind of rhythm jumps. Uh, got some footage from that, so I'll put that in here. And now we're back home, picked up pizzas on the way. Healthy pizzas, obviously. But uh, no, today was a big day in terms of, you know, energy expenditure. So uh, we're carb loading for tomorrow, which is gonna be a super chill morning. And, uh, and then a massive workout in the afternoon. All right, we got made it to Tuesday. Uh, today, the morning is technically off in terms of training, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll go for an easy spin. Just uh, put on my, I think, four full layers of clothes here. This is not even a bike jersey, it's just a <laughs> casual warm sweater. Um, I'll bike to the top of the mountain from where we're staying. So it's not that far. It's really just to shake the legs because just like on a race day when you have the races in the afternoon, it's, it's nice to not just let the body get lazy during the day. So um, I'll, I'll head up there, just try and keep the gears light. <sighs> Fueled by ketones.
crazy ice session has just finished at the Utah Olympic Oval. Definitely some of the hardest stuff I've ever done. The index was four times four laps and my 5K pace, so what I can do for 12. But it hurt like crazy. There's nobody out here on the ice. So there's no wind going. The air pressure is horrible. The ice is super thick. So there's a rope in there. But it also nice training in these conditions because we're going to have world championships in Norway. And I don't think that's going to be particularly fast or comfortable in terms of the ice quality. So it's nice training like this. That from right here, stand start. Eight and a half laps at my 12 and a half laps pace, which is kind of nice to get started out at the 31 because just don't have the snap right now. But then got it into high mid nines for the end. So stoked about that. That was, didn't feel fly, but made it through. And now we have weightlifting. There he is. Got Josh White. Came all the way from New Zealand just for this vlog appearance. Kimberly Incognito Guts and Coach Whitmore. What's up with all these indexes, Mitch? What index? We're the, doing a fast gate. The one my legs feel right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough to make the cut for the fast gate. It's hopefully going to make Victor fast at speed skating, so. It should be worth it. Tell us about the index workout. Like what we did. Do you like indexes? Uh, yeah, usually. But coming back, it's a little hard. But that's okay. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna go. So, that's a win. Adults, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. Ice was slow. It was a good prep for the World Cups because there was not going to be that fast. Um, but no, everybody went a little slower than usual. So, can only blame the coach, right? Yeah, it's all Mitch's fault. <laughs> In theory, it should always be, you know, same track, 400 meters, it's flat, there's no wind indoors. But on days like today where the air pressure is not ideal, the ice is thick, you know, a million excuses or reasons why you wouldn't skate so fast. But um we can treat ourselves with some sound. Okay. Like if we maybe we'll make it faster. Facts. No. We do try and cook as much as we can, especially now because we're going on the road for It's reduced for Oh we're taking that. <laughs> especially now because we're going on the road for more than a month. So believe it or not, you end up missing being able to cook at home, be your own chef. Uh, hotels, buffets are nice at first, and then you miss uh, home. So we are trying to get the most out of the last four days together. But today we're eating out, yes, definitely. Because <laughs> it is 7 p.m. and we're starving. Cardio day. Today is going to be a one hour jog and a two hour bike ride. All of it is zone two, so aerobic training. Uh, yesterday was big, very anaerobic and muscular. So today's just building more of that fitness that can carry us through the season. Uh, Sophia and I drove up to a lake area we haven't been to at the very top of the mountain. So we're almost at 3000 meters of altitude here. Uh, my heart rate right now, just standing and talking is 90 beats per minute. Usually uh, like this, it would be 50. So uh, I don't think we have to jog very fast to get in the right zone and then straight after on the bike two hours of, of cycling and getting some heat training in and then the afternoon we have a uh, an interesting meeting with a cafe here in salt lake city we're gonna talk about a potential partnership so uh, we're excited about that I'll see you Bye. So, are you in pain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
We fresh out of a sponsor meeting and a massage session. And uh, how did that meeting go? It was a cafe, restaurant called Egg Break, Egg Break downtown Salt Lake City. It went well. Um, the people were really nice. Um, I feel like we had a good chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like and, a first date, a little. Yeah, and the food was really delicious, and I hope we can work something out with them. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, meetings like that are always uh, exciting because you don't really know like what do we, they don't know what we expect, we don't know what they expect, and uh, like ideally, when it's people like this that make really good food, hopefully we can make a like a partnership out of it. If they want to support us financially in our skating, that would be uh, even better. Um, so, you know, we just told them what, what we can do. We can make some cool content online invite them to be in blocks like this just trying to help them out if if they help out us out on the other end um but that'd be cool because they do make super good food yeah. speaking of food we are going to the food truck here at Dolo Bay Break ending the day on a very cozy note out here. This is a thing we have in Denmark that we call a snowball. Or Soph and I decided to call it twist bread. <laughs> and altitude camp is coming closer to an end here. Are you excited for this season to actually start, Soph? Yes, super excited. Living to Milwaukee like in 48 hours. I'm not gonna yeah. see big turn for like another month. It's a long time, mm. but uh, we'll see each other in China. Sophia is not skating the first World Cup in Japan. She'll go to Milwaukee here in the U.S., prepare with that race, and then she'll kick ass in Beijing. Mm. <laughs> 30 degrees Celsius two days ago down in the valley. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You ready to go, so? Out spinning. Morning race prep was nice. Did a 12 lapper at 32 seconds per lap in her outer. Kind of felt okay. Just to feel the legs. Did a 700 meter at 1500 meter pace. Wasn't extraordinary. 27.2 for an inner outer. But I mean, that's what I expect to go in a 15 tomorrow. And now we're uh, getting after it on the bike. Have four times six minutes threshold. So guessing 370 to 420 watts. And then a little two minute or at above <laughs> at the end. So it's still definitely training hard. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day in the ice. We have a full workout after the race. So just uh, yeah, letting it burn. Super nice ride. I, uh, I miss going hard. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to sea level in Denmark and Germany before the World Cups because it's a lot more fun. You get a lot more wattage. Did a little bit of heat training at the end. Basically, two hours and pretty solid wattage. Uh, ended up doing one set of 12 minutes and then two sets of, let's see, six minutes. It was nice, wattage was 375 to 385, and then a two minute at 444. Not too bad. We'll see how recovery is tomorrow. Finally, sleeping at 1500 meters instead of 2500 so um, that'll be nice now we'll go have a, a Friendsgiving basically Thanksgiving but with our skater friends here in, uh, in Utah so many of us are not with our families and we don't really do Thanksgiving but dinner with friends is always fun Let's go south! Up, 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 be aggressive, come on.
Last ice session and race done here in Utah. Now I'll pack my stuff, fly to Denmark, and then continue on to Insel, and then continue on to Tokyo and Beijing. Um, it was fun. It was a race. You can see Sophia's race here. That was the only thing I couldn't film myself. Not that good at skating. I could bring the GoPro for a race. Um, it was good. Skated the 148. Felt uh, pretty chill in the 1500 meter. And then two times 18 laps of varied speed, which was not as fun. Three laps at 32, 33 in your outer, and then three laps at 30s for 18 laps twice. That hurt a lot, um, but it's also a thing I really suck at. I just told Will here how bad we both are at changing speed. <laughs> Ice skating is usually you go really hard and then you die and then you try and hold to speed, not build it. But um, that's why I do that. And some of my best 5Ks have been where I built at the end. And I think that's also like my physiology. So that was nice. Now we'll go in and lift. Yes. See if there's anything left. Hopefully it's not the snappy kind of stuff, but more like the heavy lift so uh, we can actually do it with sufficient quality. First off, the, the final video of the vlog? Yeah, Victor is dropping me off at the airport. And we aren't gonna see each other for a month. Damn. Yeah. That's sad. Victor is going to Germany and I'm going to Wisconsin. What's there to say? How is altitude came? It's over? You're going straight down to sea level, so am I? Yeah. You'll see how it's gonna be, how it's gonna feel. Bounce back. The last week felt like really shitty. <laughs> so I hope it's worth it. Yes, just being able to sleep well, having, I think, honestly, for both of us, our resting heart rate was more than 10 beats higher at two and a half thousand meters compared to sea level. Any comments, so what are you looking forward to? What's happening next? I'm going to race uh, American Trials, which I guess not super important because I'm not the one that's qualifying for the team, uh, but it's a good training. I feel like I need to practice my thousand and five hundred. It's a lot of starts. And fifteen. I guess I need to practice everything yet, so that's good for me. I'm super new to the sport, so the more race I feel like the better. I uh, I will be flying to Denmark to get a Chinese visa and uh, then I'll take three sort of chill days here, meet up with some sponsors, have some good family time, see friends, and fly to Insel in Germany where uh, I'll be skating a 5,000 meter. That's the national team uh, trials. Yes. I, I should be able to make that sound. <laughs> My skating a sea level, semi sea level race in. Insel is probably the fastest ice in the world right now, so that'll be cool. And uh, then I'm also gonna spend those days in Insel. I'll still live at altitude there. Found a place actually in Austria where uh, I'll be staying in a little cottage up in the mountains. This time without. So. Um, but. I'll be able to train at close to sea level, so that week in Insel, or 10 days in Insel, will just be crazy hard training. Uh, looking to get some good 5k prep in before the first two walk-ups, and that'll be nice. So, maybe a little lonely there, but uh, it's gonna be good training, and I think uh, it'll be fun being able to dig really deep. So, it's gonna miss me so much. I'm gonna miss you so much. If you guys out there have any ideas of what you want to see more of in the next vlog, or less, let us know, right? Yeah, let us know. These vlogs are fun to film. You know. Those are big words from Sophia. That's it. And this is the first video I am actually on. Yeah, I'm the one behind the camera. So I might not like speak so much, but... Did you get some mention on IMDB? Yes, all for the mention. Also, on a serious note, um, Sophia and I are entirely self-funded. Like this whole skating journey we're on, uh, we're not, you know, paid by 
Denmark to do it or anything. So it is just out of our own pocket. We do some things, we do some training workshops, clinics, make some online training plans for people. We have some amazing loyal sponsors. Um, but also something that helps us out is members on YouTube. And right now we have, do you know how many members we have on YouTube? Seven? 27. Ooh. And the things you get if you're a member on a YouTube channel here, you get early access to videos, you get a lot of private videos, you get cool emojis, one of them is me crashing on ice skates. And you can become a member starting at $2 per month and then you get all of those things and you help self and I out. And we'll make more vlogs. Right? Maybe. Yes, 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 okay. Alright. Did you just give a kiss to I thought that was only for me. No? You get this one. Oh. Now you gotta go too. Bye!